Hello? Did the fucking music just end? Oh, it's my fucking inner... No, it's not. What the fuck is going on? Uh... Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Okay, okay. Um... Stand by. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, okay, that's no good. What the fuck is going on with this thing lately? Oh, hello. Still not back? Man, this, okay, I'm gonna restart my interface. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start soon. Sorry. Hey. Two songs today, so um, make them count. Make them count. Um, Rocco's gonna go first today. All right, let me move this away here. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright, where are we here? <clears throat> okay, so, um, yeah, I guess let's get started. Hold on, I'm gonna put this over here. So, should I focus? Oh, first I'll close Patreon or whatever that is called, Discord. Open this over here, put that over there, press play, and I'll mute. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Who's ready?
Oakley. Yeah, the song itself is really cool. I think there's some arrangement stuff that could be worked out, like just some of the transitions are um, maybe lacking a bit of energy or something, but <clears throat> I think it's it's really working. I think the only thing to really look at is the, uh, is, yeah, the EQ thing. Let's see how well this recorded. Let's see if we can use, uh, let's see if this is working here for me. Um, Pro Q. Okay. Okay, I think this is your problem here. <laughs> Wait. Are we going? Honestly, I think you want, like, oops, did I bring this? The other way you could do it is this could be, um, this could probably be a bell too, and leave the high. I mean, we don't have, there's not much over there, but. That sounds already a bit better, I think. So I just used a bell instead of a high shelf, um, so that we keep some of those really high bits. Um, the other thing you can try is like, um, uh, I'm not sure if I know how to do this exactly, but the thing that I wanted to try is that we just sort of <clears throat> distort the highs a little bit in hopes that that will sort of soften them a little bit. I'm not sure how well that will actually work in practice though. Um, so maybe we'll just make like a crossover. Um, and then I want to say like, <clears throat> I want to try something like this actually.
not sure if that's doing quite what I want it to. Even like this, like I feel like I feel like you can still could still probably have more like this could have even more tilt to it. I would even maybe boost the lows from here. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so what I would do is, what I would do first is go through the stuff, yeah, go through the stuff in anywhere where you're using, like, I think you're just boosting the shit out of the highs too, too much, so I would avoid doing, like, boost and then cut and then boost and then cut, there's some, there's times, sometimes you get, like, Sometimes doing too much, sort of too many steps of processing will give you these weird problems. Um, <clears throat> like too many steps of trying to address the same thing. I often try to think of it as like, what's the simplest possible solution for dealing with this? And in this case, I feel like it's really, um, it's really this. Oh, can I, okay, let's try playing with this a little bit. Still hurting my head a little bit, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'd get rid of the. I said something about like a tape thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is quite subtle too, this thing. I can like barely hear that.
game, to be honest. I want to see what this looks like here. Oh, it's hard to tell. Um. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, I really, I don't know. Yeah, I really feel like it's like EQ and or going back through and and if those elements are like, I imagine they're like part of another sound. So so I don't, I think that your best solution is going to be EQ and EQing all of those to like just pull them all down a little bit or at least like tilt them so the <clears throat> the mids are coming out more. I think that's why it feels like it's like not... <laughs> Let's go, hold on, let's just re... How do I like put this back to default? Default. Nope. Default. Um, okay. Yeah, and like in general, I think you're... Can I make this even wider? Yeah. This would be like my quick base. And then maybe another band here. And I think that that doesn't actually sound that dim. It's just like, you maybe want a reference track for this. I don't think that sounds that different. If anything, you have, you still maybe have too much highs in this. Wait, fuck this. Shit. Yeah, and I think it's a mixing thing too because like for example that like that thing could be <clears throat> that thing could keep all its highs. It's just there's that those some of those elements in there. Um hold on, let's turn this off. Yeah. Yeah, some of those elements could keep all their highs and then a lot and then some of them just get rid of more of them. Okay, anyway, so that's my two cents about the the mix master or whatever. But the song is really cool and really pretty. So don't give up on it. <clears throat> and yeah, make sure to AB with the, with another track because I think that's maybe part of what's happening there is um it's like when you're messing around with it you're losing sight of what you're looking for um, because you're kind of comparing it to its past self and I think that's where you're getting into those problems where you're like cutting stuff and then you're like oh I need to bring it back up somehow or something and it's like no you just kind of need to cut it and it's gonna sound muffled a little bit at first and then and then you're gonna get used to it and it's not gonna sound muffled anymore <clears throat> Okay, cool. Then we got ZZY.
Cool. <clears throat> oh, hey, we is Sabek. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's out now, by the way. I'll talk about it in a second. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is really nice. I think I'm... What is that? I've been thinking about this thing with the, um, with like side chaining bass recently. Like, do I have any bass? I'll use some of these Cohen sound bases. Oh, right, this. I'm just gonna like stretch one of these out. Okay, so, say this is our bass. Okay, cool bass, bruh. Man, let's get a kick. like this so that we get okay so this thing I've been kind of playing with lately with the side chaining stuff I know I'm not really like the guy to talk to about side chaining because I don't really I'm not like a side chaining aficionado I'm not a side chain pro if you will um, however uh, this thing I've been playing with lately is like just side chaining the lows I kind of also like doing it with the gate. So let's take this side chain from the kick. Oops. And the reason I like doing this is that just I kind of like keeping a little bit of those highs in there and you can really like you can really play with it and finding some nice nice kind of in between place you know there's no rule about this like where this has to be the crossover but it can be kind of cool I think Really crazy. Oh right. Crazy or like, why is that taking so long to get down there? Hold on, let's contrast with it, doing it with the compressor. Compressor. Should I change from the key? Maybe that's better, actually.
actually, maybe it would be interesting to do them differently on the highs and the lows. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Brocko. Handing out the gifts. Brocko with the gifts! Um, I don't think that's an issue in this track. It's just something that kind of popped into my head of like something to kind of talk about, I guess. Um, I think the track is really nice. one for today. How did they just how did wrote it upside down? <clears throat> it's crazy. Upside down. This one's upside down too. What the fuck is going on here? This guy's insane. Did my fucking sound card just fucking eat shit again? What the hell? Um. Hmm. Okay, let me try and restart this again. This again. Yeah, that was really cool. Let's listen to it again, actually.
There's like, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. There's two kind of, I think that rhythm, the like, sounds less garagey than the next one, which is. Yeah. Yeah, the vocals are class. I think you could have a little bit less highs in that bass, though. Um, hold on, I'm gonna try something else. Uh, let me just turn this shit on again. Uh, okay, stop that. Drums. Sure, whatever. Or maybe. Yeah, maybe something like this is more suitable. Okay, and then we go to. I don't know. Well, how fast is garage? Like 130? Boom. T. Ka. T. Hold on, I'm confused now. Okay, and then get that swing up in there. Two step. Sure, whatever. Oh, fuck this, fuck you. That's my garage. Yeah, let's just fucking compress it, because, you know. Let's make that a little shorter. Fuck you, you fucking useless piece of poo. Useless piece of poo. Sounds like a real. Alright, those are nice highs. in there.
think I can do this easier with analog. <clears throat> I feel 
like it's missing something. Um. Oh wait. glass of water here. Uh, <laughs> did you get from that did you get that from that bullshit generator? <laughs> uh, Alright, let me put on some Muzak. Uh, and I'll be right back. I don't know what we're gonna do today. I guess we can work on that drum and bass song from last time. That was fun. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Uh, hey. I'm going to put on this while I'm away. Dreams. Ha. <laughs> Oops.
All right, let's make some fucking drum and bass. All right, drum and bass. I don't know how to do that. That joke sucks. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Delete all the samples. <sighs> okay, here's where I'm at. This part's garbage, but we'll listen to this part. Let's hear it from the beginning. Oh, we got a track. Should we review it? Let's listen to this, and then we'll review the track, and then we'll come back to it. section that I was sort of playing around with. Okay, let's listen to that song. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking how it's coming along. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> Other than that, it was a banger. Um, the one thing I would say, um, yeah, the the cha oh, I had a feeling that you recorded the chair and that the piano was it was a synth or sample pack or whatever, and then the chair and breaths were separate or something. But it's it's such a nice touch, like it really brings it to life. I think. Um, Uh, what was I going to say? Um, for the, the string stuff, one really nice little thing that you can do to add a little bit of kind of character to those those string things, I think in general they work really, really well, but a tiny little extra spice that you could put on them, I think, is having, um, you know, pick out some other instruments from the from the orchestra or whatever, I really like using like little flute, little sort of things to kind of just once in, you know, one or two times in the whole song, just have a little bit of extra flute that comes in there or something, or uh, reinforce those strings with like a double bass uh, or a cello. I would go for a double bass actually for the, to, to kind of give a little extra kind of something to them. Um, or I think some brass maybe would be kind of interesting in here. You'd have to be careful how you put it in there or something. Um, but those little extra little spices I think can be a really nice add for the for the for the string stuff. It'll I think. Or uh, the other thing that I that I played with when I uh, in that. I'm this is making me think of the the polypropylene song. Um, where the fuck did I put it? Hold on, where are we? Here we go. So, in here... There's some places where I like doubled a nice normal sounding cello with one of those like frozen cello or amplified or like frozen strings or amplified strings or whatever from, I think they're from Spitfire. And it just gives it a little extra grit. Like obviously I wouldn't ham on it in this track, but but I think in a track like this, it would be a nice little extra textural element to, to spice it up in a couple little places. Um, you can hear a little bit of that in Crushed Up also. I think it's around here. Oh no, that's the wrong song, it's this one. Sorry, Lurch. trills are just oh, I fucking love that shit um yeah so you can just sprinkle a couple of those little 
babies in there. <clears throat> yeah, polypropylene used to have my vocals on it. I can play that a little later. If you want. I think it was faster in that version, too. Or slower. I can't remember. Anyways. Um, but yeah, those little details kind of kind of help to bring it to life. Like, I don't know if you've ever been in the same room as like a string quartet or whatever, but like there's all these, especially if it's like a smallish room with like not many people and you're just like in the same room as like a big string instrument or like a couple people playing the strings, there's like this really, there's this really cool feeling that you get from that, that you, that it's hard to get from like a string pack. And I think it's partially because or like a, even a string recording, like usually they're so finessed that they lose a little bit of that, of that realism or something. And that trying to sprinkle some extra shits in there what helps to to sort of bring it to life a little bit it's a little bit in a different way but yeah um yeah so i'm with you in in the track is really complicated and i think that those those sprinkles you should you got to be you got to be really thought, thoughtful about like where you'd put them in This track is fucking sick though. Like it's really, really nicely done. Really stoked on that. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Let's listen to, I think Shibari has a new one. <sighs> ah, sent the wrong link. Oh, nice. You threw it through the... Nice. <laughs> I think it works well, eh? <laughs> uh, Dendroid... No, you can you can send something in. We're kind of going back and forth. Um, so, yeah, Shibari, just waiting for your new version, or the right version, or whatever. And then Dendroid, send one in, too. I'm going to hack at this a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so with this section, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I think this, I tried something here, and it, I don't. I really don't think it works. It's like not the kind of sound that I wanted to go for. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. I kind of want to go into, um, <clears throat> I do want it to be glitchy. I'm just not sure how I want to do that. Take this. Let's have some. Oh, interesting. Oh, I remember this doesn't stretch all that well. Ah. 
Why does it keep doing that? No, we can go way further with this. Yeah, let's try to make that a bit bigger. I'm gonna try and get all of this out of the original things because I'm gonna fuck with them quite a bit. <clears throat> I think this would be a nice touch. Okay, that's kind of fun. Uh, let's do a reverse hit into there too. Uh, damn it. That's stupid. Thanks, Android. <clears throat> okay, Shibari. Uh, are you sending the private link? Oh no, here it is.
Okay, cool. I think there's like there's a lot of potential stuff in there. I think um my favorites were this. Although I play around a little bit with those note note choices. Alright, what what is it again? Yeah. I think there's like, it kind of leans into, leans a little bit into sort of spooky, like haunted house kind of territory, which I think you can get a lot out of that sound. To me, that what that reminds me of is times where I've been really bored with the melodies I'm able to come up with and then I'll put something in there and I put something extra spicy like that feels like a spicy you know like you're you're doing something uh complicated um and and if you're if you're blasting through and making a ton of stuff like I kind of imagine you're doing if you've got like a bunch of these kind of whips in here um I think you might be kind of burning yourself out on on like having to come up with so many different melodies that you're getting sort of bored with writing the melodic stuff. And I think a helpful thing for that can be to to just to pick a song and just grind it, like grind grind it out. Um and also playing with um like if you're bored of like one note melodies, then layering different notes on top helps a lot with that and just thinking about the interaction between the notes um yeah fair enough uh he said it's it was so hard to keep this minimal yeah that's a good that's a good exercise too of like how minimal can you make it like how much i bet there's more stuff that you could take out from that So here, I'll play you my... I always like to bring this one up. <laughs> um, so where is it? Where's the little search bar? How come I can't... How does this fucking program work? Uh, let's just go like this. Do, 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 do. This thing. Okay. So this is my experiment with like trying to be as minimal as possible. 
little Um, I don't know why. I just wanted to play that, I guess, because it was... Because I control the music. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I think you can play with it a bit more, and it's like kind of the inter interplay between... Um... <laughs> yeah, that was the vibe I was going for, Airhead or James Blake, before he felt like he needed to sing. <laughs> I, I loved that stuff. I found it so inspiring. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just thinking about like how slow you can go, how much can you draw out each, uh, each thing. Uh, yeah, that one was really cool. I also really liked... That's really nice. Yeah, those two were my favorites. This one I feel like... Where is it? The, the whole like thing, I feel like we've heard it so many times that if you want to do it, you got to be really... You gotta do something really weird with it. Or you gotta do something really new with it or something. And I don't even know what that would be, actually. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I always, I feel like uh, that one's a hard, that like pop, 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 pop kind of bass is, I find it's really hard to integrate it into a track in a way that like sounds. That sounds Yeah, I don't know, sounds new. Sounds like I like where you're going with it, the like wah, 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 wah. but I think you can maybe it's just about playing with it and trying to take it further. Like how far can you go into Or like what other kind of transformations could you have? Um so that could be a kind of a fun thing to play with. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the I like the sob songs. I think um, you're at a good point where it would be good to um, to like zoom in on one track and just beat yourself, beat your face into the wall with it for a bit. <clears throat> Not too much. Don't uh, don't don't overdo it. Oh, I think we had this one yet. Yeah. We got ZZY. We got ZZY and ZZY.
think um, this melody... I think it's maybe taking away from all the cool stuff that you're doing with the sound design. Um, and it feels sort of like... I would maybe try shorter notes or, or, I don't know. To me, the part that kind of worked the best was over here. So. It's like these bits where we get to really focus on the... Uh, Yeah, like I almost feel like those could be two separate parts. Like this is this really nice melody. Oh, there's the bassy stuff. And the bassy stuff. I don't know how you would do that though. It I guess to me it just feels like the like you have this really intricate object which is like the kind of front drum sound design y bass stuff. And then you have this sort of like busy wallpaper in the back, which is the me melodic stuff. And I feel like that wallpaper is distracting from the coolness of the, of the sort of main object. And then we also want a chance to look at that wallpaper because it's cool. We want to check it out. So I feel like those things are sort of clashing with each other a little bit. Um, <clears throat> it, it, for sure, it like it makes a cool vibe, but I think it will sound more. Um, it'll sound more sort of like. I want to say like authoritative, like more refined, I guess, to. To not have those two elements kind of at the same time, it'll give it a little bit more. I don't even know what the thing is that I'm trying to describe. It's like when you hear a song from like a really good artist and you feel like, oh, this is fucking serious shit. Like this person's, we're getting fucking serious with this shit. <laughs> yeah, focused. That's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. And then, uh, and I feel like that, those take, either separating those so that we have one and then the other, or... But I think I both will need some other stuff going on. Like, I don't think you can just, like, play one and then play the other one. You'll have to, like, play the first one and then add something to it and then play the other one and add something to it. But I think that will, that will do it. Yeah. It could be something to play with. And it's a fun, it's a fun exercise, too, of, like, sort of shifting... Of of practicing sort of smoothly shifting gears, right? Because you have this atmosphere that you're building. And then how do you get here where it's like this without the melody stuff, without it feeling awkward and, and like a hard gear change? So that kind of practicing that kind of stuff can be really, can be really good and interesting. Okay, uh, cool. And then I think we, did we do this one? No. Good track though, nice, nice work.
Nice. That's pretty crazy. I think, um, so yeah, I guess the, I mean, the sound design is cool. The ideas are cool. Um, the thing I would work on a little bit is the arrangement. I think I would put this as the intro. And then I would go from there to, so we go yada yada yada. And then I would go here, I think. That feels connected. And then you first drop. I think you could also maybe build a bit more tension through this section to make it feel like like I feel like this could reach a little bit higher before it goes down. And then yeah, that kind of like... That feels like it makes sense to me. Primo, primo, primo shit. And then... I feel like we lose a bit of steam in this bit here. And I feel like making the energy rise a bit there is... All you need to do is just make like a... Or whatever, in whatever time signature you're doing there, or whatever that is. Yeah, actually that, the pen, the pen drum would be a, the perfect thing to do with that. Just start detuning that pen drum up a semitone over the course of like several bars. Maybe it'll have to be more than a semitone. And then that will help you get here. Like, this feels like it should be the climax of this. And that, in, I feel like that's rightfully at the end. And then you can close out with like a bit of this. But I would, instead of building into that, maybe try and come. So you get this last bit. Maybe, or maybe it just ends like that. Um, I like these parts a lot. This part... I actually almost feel like this part makes more sense now that I've heard the rest of it. But at the beginning it felt like a little bit... Like some of the sound designy stuff felt a little bit overly distorted. And my solution for that would be just like you've got the two it's kind of like a two-parter right you've got like and then part two is or whatever like the second you know it's like you get one big and then and then part two is the other one and i would just alternate like dirty cleaner dirty cleaner dirty dirtier cleaner dirtier cleaner that sort of dirty clean dirty clean sort of thing uh and then I think that that would, it would like, it would help, uh, what's the word I'm trying to get at here? It's like the, it would make the distortion feel more on purpose, and I think it would make that distorted bit like bang harder. Yeah, I really like the last bit of this thing. But, I don't know, something about this bit felt like... 
but I felt like it didn't quite fit, and I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe that's just a personal taste thing, but... Or maybe it's that, like, it's the way that you've set it up is sort of that this is a, sort of like a climax of its own. So, like, if this flowed more into this thing, or say this was before this guy, so we get da 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 and then we get... You know what I mean? Then it would... Because right now it's like it feels... And then it just kind of... You know, sizzles out. And then a new thing starts happening. So I think that's that's my main feedback. Is like all the sound design and everything is fucking crazy. Obviously you've got that in the bag. That's perfect, right? And now it's just like moving some sections around. And finessing the transitions between them. And I think that would... Just, it would really sort of take it to the next level, I think. But yeah, banger. I'll put a smash a like on that. Mm, cool. Also, I realize that it's funny of me to be talking about <laughs> not doing left turns because that's like the thing that I do all the time, but I don't know. Be better than me. That's what I want. Okay. All right, let's listen to this thing again. I'm gonna work on this. Actually, I might. Let's listen to this and then I'll see, because I might just call it a day, actually. I'm a bit out of it. actually okay thanks everybody for tuning in um, I think we're gonna call it a day there um, yeah, cool. <sighs> um, that is all my friends that is all no not this song not that song. Not that song. Not that song. Let's do this one.